Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida. It's the 24th annual Polk County Public Schools Video Award Ceremony, featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 73 schools. We're able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from Apple, Lightspeed, the Polk Education Foundation, Camcor, Smiley's Audio Visual, Bomar Trophy Shop, Nathan's Men's Store, Vista Audio, Men's Warehouse, and Victory Church. Introducing your marshals for this evening, Clay Bennett from Auburndale Senior, Natalie Brown from Auburndale Senior, Bailey Nagel from Lake Gibson Senior, and Juan Ramos Perez from Lake Gibson Senior. And now your host for this evening, Emma Bako from Griffin Elementary, Jaden Figueroa from Palmetto Elementary, Reagan Parrish from R. Bruce Wagner Elementary, and Kaylee Withy from Scott Lake Elementary. Good evening and welcome to the 24th Annual Video Awards Ceremony, the largest school event in Polk County Public Schools. Let's give a big round of applause to the 2016 ITV Student of the Year. <laughs> the Students of the Year will be presenting the awards for each category. I know they are very excited. Thank you for coming. Our marshals will be assisting you on the stage this year. Please wave, marshals. Remember, the Students of the Year will take turns coming to the stage to announce winners. ITV teachers, please help us remind the Students of the Year to come to the stage when they need to make an announcement. Students of the Year, you may return to your seats, except for the following. We need Aiden Everidge, Crimson Cochran, Shayna Ortiz, and Gianna Mantegna. The marshals will help you find your seats. If you are brand new to Video Awards this year, please give us a shout. Welcome! You guys are really loud. That means that we're going to have a cheerful evening. How many of you have been here before? <laughs> welcome back! At this time, we would like to welcome to the stage our Superintendent of Polk County Public Schools, Ms. Jacqueline Bird. Good evening, and I hope to do a wonderful job like they did. They, weren't they awesome? <laughs> again, again, we welcome you to the 24th Annual Polk County Video Awards. I am so proud to be here tonight as we recognize our staff and students who participate in various aspects of our instructional television programs. Students who participate in this worthwhile program are afforded the opportunity to broaden their imaginations, increase their creativity, and think outside the box. Think about that. It goes without saying, it also builds teamwork and enhances social skills. Thank you also to all of our staff for their time and effort that must be invested in the pursuit of excellence and technology innovation. We hope you all enjoyed this, pro this evening's program, and we're glad you joined us. Welcome. Thank you, Ms. Bird. We would also like to welcome the school board members and the district staff to tonight's ceremony. Please stand. Thank you. Our escorts this evening are the ROTC cadets from Lake Gibson High School. Let's welcome the jazz band under the direction of Mr. Jeff Kerr from Southwest Middle School. Mr.
Isn't the stage absolutely lovely? That's because it was designed by Mrs. Laura McNabb and her students. Thank you very much. Each year, it is our pleasure to welcome back a former ITV student. This year, we welcome Mr. Kayla Bish, a former student of George Jenkins High School with Mr. Jansen. Lakeland Highlands Middle with Mrs. Farrell and Scott Lake with Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bish received his bachelor's degree in communication with a concentration in marketing from Warner University. After many jobs, he and his wife Jennifer began their own business called StoryVox Creative. Their production company is dedicated to helping businesses tell their story through high quality video productions. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kayla Bish. Thank you, it's great to be here. Um, can't believe it's been about 11 years since I was on the stage last. Uh, people ask me all the time how long I've been doing video production, and I say 20 years, and they usually look at me kind of crazy, surprised to learn that I'm even 20 years old. And, uh, but then I tell them that I started when I was in fifth grade, just like you guys at Scott Lake Elementary. And while that, uh, there's Scott Lake. <laughs> and while that experience doesn't exactly count as professional work experience, I do hold that training and education that I got here in a very high regard. I've, I've always said that this program is among the best in the entire country. Uh, in fact, when I was in high school, we began entering some of our work into national awards, and we found those even easier to win than the awards that will be given out here tonight because of the high standard that has been set by Polk County Schools. So it's exciting to be back, and I'm excited to see some of the great work. Um, just want to say a few things to a couple different groups of people that are here. Uh, the first is the ITV staff. Thank you so much for all the, your hard work and uh, putting together a night like tonight. As you get a little older, your perspective changes and you realize exactly how much work does go into making something like this happen. Uh, it requires a huge team of people going above and beyond their job description. And I think we need to start out by showing them some appreciation for all their hard work. Uh, the next is to the teachers in the room. Uh, I had three teachers during my experience with video production, uh, Mr. Bennett, Mrs. Farrell, and Mr. Jansen. Um, although it's been years and years since I've talked to any of them, I still think about them very often. And um, you're laying a foundation in your student's life that will last long after your time with them is done. And while getting prepared for this award show may be a lot of work and extra hours, uh, I hope that's encouragement to you. And the next is to the parents in the room. Uh, I was lucky to have parents that believed in me and supported me and took my dreams very seriously from a young age. Uh, video awards were a family affair in my household. Their parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, everybody came out. And believe me when I say that that support means the world to your children. And finally, to the students in the room. Uh, like I said, you're very fortunate to have a program like this. Uh, video production is a diverse and exciting field and it can lead you to any number of places. I went to school with classmates that are working for news stations and production companies and creative agencies across the country. Uh, personally, it's allowed me to travel around the country and internationally, and most recently, for the past year and a half, has allowed my wife and I to fulfill our dream of running our own small business right here in downtown Lakeland. So I just encourage you to stick with it, work hard, find internships, ask lots of questions. Some days just grab a camera and go shoot something. Just keep making yourself better, and I guarantee you this will take you amazing places. Thanks, and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Bish. Next, let's award the Student Poster Contest winner. This winning poster design is the cover for our ceremony program that you can order tomorrow. To announce the winner of the poster design, here is Mr. Robertson. Our winner for the poster contest for the elementary contest is from Philip O'Brien Elementary School, Kanesha Merricks. Would you come up and get the poster? Take a 
look at the screen to see all of the state and national awards from our schools, from both elementary and secondary schools. Without good elementary feeder schools, our secondary schools would not be nearly as good as they are. Congratulations to all of you. If we have any administrators, principals, or assistant principals here with us tonight, we thank you on behalf of our students for your support of visual media and how important it is for students to learn everyday skills with instructional television technology. Teachers, thank you for your dedication to excellence and your hard work with video production. Parents, I know that you're out there. Thank you for providing them with the wonderful home and the extra time to work with our instructional television programs all over Polk County. <laughs> Finally, if you are a student in our program, stand up, because this night is about you. hours of writing, planning, videotaping has paid off tonight. Let's applaud our ITV students. Okay, are you ready to be wowed by some of the best videos produced by students in this whole United States? Tonight, we have some unbelievable videos. TV stations, universities, and individuals from all over the country judge your videos. So get ready for a fun evening. Starring you! Let's begin with our most improved elementary school program. We ask that the winning school send someone to the stage to collect your certificate. Who is our first Student of the Year presenter? Now presenting the ITV Award for Most Improved Television Production Program, Mr. Aiden Everidge from Wendell Watson Elementary. <laughs> and the IT ITV award goes to Codwell Elementary. Now, we move on to the best part of the video awards, the 10 categories. Students will introduce each of the categories from many of our Polk County Public Schools. Let's see the introduction video for best short film presented by the Sand Hill Elementary students. Why wouldn't anyone not love movies? Movies can show magic, fairy tales, and drama. Love and suspense. Sometimes romance trickles through your veins. And movies have heroes that come to save the day. Like Superman or Supergirl. So, lights, camera, action. Thank you, Sand Hill Elementary. Let's meet the nominees for Best Short Film and Student of the Year presenters. Wathman Oaks, The Adventures of Bully Buster. Spessard L. Holland, The Day. 
Southwest, Fuzzy Wuzzy 2.0, the sequel. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Short Film, Ms. Crimson Cochran from Spessard L. Holland Elementary, Ms. Shana Ortiz from Southwest Elementary, and Ms. Gianna Mantegna from Sleepy Hill Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to... Principal Butler? Where is everybody? <laughs> Looks like I even beat the teacher today. Doesn't look like anybody's coming today. Hmm. Welcome, class. Okay, let's see who is here today. We have this was the day I got to be the teacher. And Mr. Cow. And yeah. give the homework. We have Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann! You do not sleep at school. You sleep at home. Okay, I hope everyone studies up for this test I'm going to pass out. Here you go, Larry, and here you go, Gracie. While you wait, we read a book. Hold on a minute. I'm the teacher, and I say no test! This was the day I ruled the school. Mr. Cow, can you come down to the office? We have a problem, student. Hi, my name is Campbell. I'm just so proud of myself. I am right here on the stage, and I never thought this would happen. I'd just like to thank Mr. Cochran and everyone else who helped me get this far and it's just so huge for me. I've never been on stage um, getting an award except for piano, yeah. But that wasn't that big, that wasn't that big. This is like in front of like 5,000 people it's, it's, and it's, it's not this big that, 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 it's not this big of an opportunity that you get this. It's just so amazing for me. Congratulations, Spessard Holland Elementary School, for that interesting short film. We are moving to Category 9. The students of Dundee Elementary Academy are presenting the academic promotional intro. A plus B equals X. If A equals 1 and B equals 2, then X has to be 3. Because math is magical. And when I read a few words of a story, I get hooked on reading. I can't wait to read the next few lines. Science is all about nature, biology, plants, animals, habitat. I love the green chlorophyll. Wow, who really discovered America? It's all in the history. Academics, it's all in the learning. Let's meet the nominees for Academic Promotional Video Category 9 in our Student of the Year presenters. R. Bruce Wagner. Check out a book, check out an adventure. Philip O'Brien. Get healthy. Southwest, Chopped Changes. Spencer L. Holland, Student President. Lofman Oaks, DMV, Department of Multiplication Verification. Lena Vista, 
five E lessons. Medulla, academic promotional video. Blake Academy, Planet's Introduction. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Academic Promotional Video, Ms. Emma Abdoni from Arbor's Wagner Elementary, Mr. Matthew Webb from Philip O'Brien Elementary, and Ms. Kirsten Hayes from Oscar J. Pope Elementary. And the ITV Award goes to... Buffman Oaks. <laughs> Have you been practicing your multiplication facts? Yes. Yes. What strategies did you use to prepare? Well... The strategy I used is skip counting. Everybody knows how to count by twos and fives, but it works with any number. Say, four times eight. All right. Four. I just really want to thank you, my ITV teachers, my parents, and to our principal. Laughlin Oaks, that was a fabulous academic promotional video. Congratulations! Next, a student from Sleepy Hill Elementary School will introduce Category 8, the category about documentaries. Brianna here, reporting to you with the dangers of sinkholes. Or I could be telling you a story about something mysterious. The presidential news is mounting. How does one qualify to become the President of the United States? Have you ever stopped to think about how hazardous it is to smoke cigarettes? These are all interesting topics and could all be subjects for documentaries. So stay tuned because the next category is all about documentaries. Thank you, Sleepy Hill. Let's meet the nominees and Student of the Year presenters for Best Documentary. Laughlin Oaks, The Notebook, A Recycling Journey. Southwest, The Slurpee, a frozen American icon. Spencer L. Holland, The Documentary. Dundee Academy, Childhood Obesity. Kathleen, Diversity Development. R. Bruce Wagner, Diabetes, Don't Sugarcoat It. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Documentary, Ms. Giselle Omeda from Medela Elementary, Ms. Trinity Pierce from Laughlin Oaks Elementary, and Mr. Levi Bell from Luna Vista Elementary. And the ITV Awards goes to...
telling me to stop eating so much junk food. She says I don't need so much sugar in my body. I beg to defer. Well, at least she's wrong about my body needing sugar. Did you know that almost everything we eat has sugar in it? Bananas, strawberries, cookies, milk, and even ketchup. You see, everyone's body needs sugar. It's what gives us energy for our minds and our bodies. But you see, not everyone can use the sugar that they eat in the right way. For instance, Nicholas, who has type 1 diabetes. Diabetes means there's too much sugar in the blood. A hormone called insulin is made in the pancreas. Insulin works like a key to a door, opening the cells in our body and allowing the sugar to pass from the bloodstream into the cells to use for energy. Type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children. You do not get diabetes from eating too much sugar, and you cannot catch up from sitting next to someone with diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas does not make enough insulin. Let's see how Nicholas's morning routine is different because of his diabetes. After waking up, Nicholas must check his blood sugar using a glucose meter. The number determines the amount of insulin he needs. If the number is high, he gets more insulin. And if the number is low, he gets less insulin. Then. Thank you. Um, we would like to thank Ms. Stein, Ms. Hurst, Ms. Anderson, and Ms. Rolf for their support and making this video happen. And we would also like to thank the parents for their support. Thank you. Congratulations. Our introduction to Category 7 is about digital footprints and is being brought to you by Horizons Elementary. Do you wonder where all the items you post online go? Here's an amazing fact. It goes everywhere online. Forever. 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 So that funny picture that you sent to your friend yesterday can be seen by lots of people that you don't even know. The text you type that you thought were private are not private. Your videos, music, and most anything that you upload leaves what we like to call footprints. That means there are trails to your information. Be careful out there. Thank you. Let's meet the nominees and Student of the Year presenters for Digital Footprint Awareness. Southwest, following your digital footprints. R. Bruce Wagner, DFA, Digital Footprint Anonymous. Wendell Watson, be a good digital citizen. Waffman Oaks, USS Be Wise. Spesser L. Holland, Digital Footprints PSA. Now presenting the ITB Award for Best Digital Footprint PSA, Ms. Amber Murrell from Jesse Keen Elementary and Alonzo Santa Maria from Inwood Elementary. And the ITV award goes to Woman Oats. Do you know who this is, Connor? Mm, no. Um, she says, let's meet soon. Should we accept? I guess. Never get personal information on the internet. Why, Why not? Come on, I'll show you. Where are we? We're in the USSB wise, and then we're going to follow that chat. Did you hear? That's 
not a kid. You can be safe on the internet by remembering YAPI. YAPI is an acronym of things that you shouldn't do on the internet. YAPI stands for your full name, your address, a picture of yourself, your phone number, and your plans. Never tell anyone that they can read them. We would like to thank our staff, our parents, our principal, and everyone. We worked very hard on this, and we're very happy for this award. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Loffman Oaks Elementary. Our next category is Best Announcing Team. The video intro for Best Team Announcers is from Gardner Elementary School. Boys and girls, gather around. It's time to put our heads together. Together for what? What it takes to produce a superior news show. The best anchor team is totally in charge of the show. They know when to say what's happening. Who's reporting? What time and where? They even know the names of all the people on the show. The only thing this team doesn't know is who is the best announcing team in Polk County. What teamwork? Wow, thank you. With team announcers, we ask that if you hear your school name called, please come to the front of the stage steps. Let me repeat, repeat that. If you hear the announcer call your school for best team, Please walk to the front of the stage steps and remain until you receive your trophies. Okay, let's hear the nominees and student of the year presenters. Sleepy Hill, Rihanna Athey and Gianna Matania. Crystal Lake, Adara Branch and Lila Williams. Brigham Academy, Kendall Skinner and Michaela Summerall. Spencer L. Holland, Carrie Ann Hannebaker and Crimson Cochran. Philip O'Brien, Naomi Garner and Layton Frerix. R. Bruce Wagner, Emily Heckman and Emma Abdoni. Caldwell, Trista Cheney and Trinity Robinson. Walkman Oaks, Camille Stevenson, and Lauren Daniels. Garner, Angel Lapierre, and Alondra Santoyo. Wendell Watson, Ryla Bryant, and Briley McDonald. Horizons, Kiara Rivera, and Ayana Bussing. Southwest, Shayna Ortiz, and Alyssa Vasquez. Davenport School of the Arts, Bailey Cotton and Marissa Sullivan. Lena Vista, Zachary Rayson and Olivia Laxon. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Announcing Team, Mr. Ryan Fight from Horizons Elementary and Mr. Christopher Gonzalez from Griffin Elementary. in front of the stage are the best team announcers in the nation. Let's stand, let's all stand and give them a special cheer and applause. Now, let's hear the judges' choice for the best team announcers. Maestro, drum roll please. The ITV award goes to Lofman Oaks, Camille Stevenson, and Laura Daniels. Good morning, Owls. Today is Friday, December 11th. And we're live at the Gingerbread Shop. Did you know Santa goes all around the world in one night and his first stop is London? Hey, that happens to be where Ben is this week. We elves get a lot of exercise making all these toys. Here's Trinity with a great way for you to exercise. A lot of people are traveling this holiday. Make sure to be safe. Hey, it's at 
off in the shelf Rob. He travels to North Palm back every night. Our first graders recently did some traveling too. Let's see where they went. There's so many great things at the gingerbread shop, I just can't decide. Should I get this charm bracelet or should I get these flowers? I love the gingerbread shop, but that's not the only fascinating thing going on around campus. Well, that's our shows. Get in the holiday spirit and come visit the gingerbread shop. Remember, it's open every day next week. Um, I'd like to say that we worked really hard for this, and I'd like to thank our principal for allowing us to do this. Um, we would also like to thank our ITV teachers and our ITV um, teammates. Um, they, we we would have never done it without them. Congratulations to Laughman Oaks Elementary School. Our next category intro is all about the best female announcer, and here's the intro video from Jesse Keene Elementary School. It's time for the female announcers to show that they have what it takes to anchor the news. Girls have that special flair, that je ne sais pas quoi. A girl's talent shows courage and honesty and willpower and strength. Girls have what it takes to anchor the news because they can. And when they can, they will. News is serious. Girls are serious. Seriously. Thank you. Again, we ask that if you hear your name called, please come to the front of the stage steps. I repeat, if you hear your school name, please walk to the front of the stage steps to receive your trophies. Now, here are the nominees and Student of the Year presenters. Spencer L. Holland, Carrie Ann Hannabaker, Lena Vista, Kennedy Williams, Brigham Academy, Michaela Richards, Blake Academy, Ella McDonald, Griffin, Emma Bako. <laughs> Shayna Blakes, Kylie Wells, Garner, Caitlin Chambliss, Sleepy Hill, Brittany Archer, R. Bruce Wagner, Kylie Anderson, Oscar J. Pope, Kirsten Hayes, Horizons, Kiara Rivera. Lachman Oaks, Trinity Pierce. Alta Vista, Aliyah Ramansar. Davenport School of the Arts, Larissa Sullivan. Crystal Lake, Candice Laquer. Caldwell, Cassidy Pontbright, Wendell Watson, Chloe Lanham, Southwest, Tanya Pizarro. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Female Announcer, Ms. Alondra Santoyo from Garner Elementary and Ms. Karina Mateo from Floral Avenue Elementary. Okay, here are the best female announcers in the whole nation. Let's stand and give them a special applause. <laughs> Who is the judge's best female announcer? Now, maestro, drum roll please. And the IT award goes to... Lothman Oaks. Hi Owls, this is Fitness and Sports with Trinity. Today we are gonna to talk about football training. 
Football is called the ultimate team sport, and it's a great way to get exercise. Do you want to train like a football player? If you do, here are some drills you can do. Playing catch. Griffin Elementary. Passing route. Thank you. And a game of flag football. Griffin. To add more fun and more exercise, you can do my favorite part of the game, football end zone dances. Salsa like Victor Cruz. Thank you. With like Odell Beckham Jr. Or create your own, like mine, the hammer dance. Can't touch this. Go have some fun, owls, and practice these awesome drills. Thank you so much for this award. I want to thank my parents and my ITV teachers and my principal. Congratulations, Lofman Oaks Elementary. Up next, we have the Best Male Announcers category, and the intro video is being brought to us by Griffin Elementary School. Solo announcers, whether male or female, anchor the news with authority. When it is time for the inside story, they can amaze you with the facts. Facts. Facts that make us all sit up. And take notice because it is the news. Male announcers must step up to the plate of distinction. Step up to the plate for all the best things in life. Like anchoring with pizzazz and feeling. Male announcers. A rarity. Again, if you hear your school name called for best male announcer, please come up to the front of the stage steps. Please come to the front of the stage steps if you hear your school name called to receive your trophies. Caldwell, Nathan Lugo. Southwest, Jafar Curry. Sleepy Hill, Brian Smith. Horizon, Ryan Fife. R. Bruce Wagner. Doriano TJ Weeks. Philip O'Brien, Braden Creel, Brigham Academy, Kay Rayburn, Lachman Oaks, Yinsen Dale, Davenport School of the Arts, Warren Francos, Crystal Lake, Renee Rivero, Oscar J. Pope, Jaden Jackson, Spencer L. Holland, Ashton Fletcher, Blake Academy, Hayden Testament. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Male Announcer, Ms. Bailey Cotton from Davenport School of the Arts, and Ms. Adyanka Branch from Crystal Lake Elementary. call it the Davenport Sand Mine. The fourth graders and I are gonna learn about some sand. Come on, let's go see what they do here. The first step in visiting a working mine is gearing up. That means putting on safety jackets and American flag hard hats. After that, we loaded up in a huge trailer and explored every nook and cranny of the mine. Way in the back of the mine, they have a huge sand drip that sucks up sand and pumps it into the sand plant. See that big thing behind me? That's called the sand plant. It separates the rocks from the sand to make the smoothest sand possible. The sand plant can make 15 different kinds of sand. Then it dumps the sort of sand into huge piles. Next up are the gigantic loaders. They take huge buckets of sand from the towering piles, then load up the huge semi-dump trucks waiting in line. 
Wow, look at all that sand. I'd like to thank my parents for letting me come here. I'd like to thank my ITV um, teammates for making this all possible. I would like to thank my ITV teachers too because they've done it all for me. Congratulations, Lofman Oaks. It is time for the best music video. The music intro video is being taped and brought to you by Wendell Watson Elementary School. Doe a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun, me a name I call myself, far a long, long way to... Wait a minute, do you know what we're doing? We're singing for the music video category. Join us! So a needle pulling thread, la, a note to follow so tea, a drink of jam and bread that will bring us back to the real music videos. Stay tuned. Thank you, Do Re Mi. Let's meet the nominees and Student of the Year presenters. Kathleen, AMP Academy. Griffin, Make a Difference. Garner, Garner Tigers. Blake Academy, Don't Drink That Haterade. Spencer L. Holland, Selfies. Southwest, read, write, and all that jazz. Dundee Academy, animals are responsibility. Wendell Watson, bullying, make it stop. Philip O'Brien, Lions Road. R. Bruce Wagner, the very, very blues. Lachlan Oaks, Science Matters. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Music Video, Mr. John Nelson from Churchwell Elementary and Mr. Simon Sharp from Chain of Lakes Elementary. And the IT Award goes to... Our, our Bruce Wagner! <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone who has helped us make this music video, Ms. Hurst, Ms. Stein, and Mr. Foster for helping us create our Blueberry Garden. Our next category is for Best Commercial. The commercial intro video was taped by kindergartners from Spessard Hall in Elementary. It's about time, it's about space, it's about time to... Hey, why are you singing that song? 
face. I'm working on a commercial. I'm trying to grab the audience attention. Yeah, but you kind of sound silly. You need a catchy tune. Hey, give me an example. When you wish upon a star. Wait, everybody knows that tune. You can't use it. Okay, make up one. All right, here it is. Those kindergarten students were adorable. Let's meet the nominees and Student of the Year presenters. Spencer L. Holland, Red Ribbon Run. Chain of Lakes, Little Shopper Shop. Elbert, Read to Ride. Churchwell, Red Ribbon Run. Lake Academy, Guinea Dog Book Trailer. Jesse King, Parent Reading Night. Lincoln Avenue Academy, JTV Digital Infomercial. Brigham Academy, Book Fair. Southwest, Mission, Picture Day. Griffin, Let's Be Safe. Oscar J. Pope, Winter Kaleidoscope Concert. Philip O'Brien, Dress for PE Success. Crystal Lake, Holiday Math Night. Garner, Scholastic Monster Book Fair. Caldwell, Box Top Challenge. Lena Vista, Seasons Readings. Dundee, December Movie Night. R. Bruce Wagner, Dance Away the Spooks. Alta Vista, Hornet Pride. Wendell Watson, Wash Your Hands. Walkman Earth, Put It Down. Davenport School of the Arts, Old Davy. Now presenting the ITV Award for Best Commercial, Ms. Cassidy Hunt Bryant from Caldwell Elementary and Ms. Michaela Summerall from Brigham Academy. This ca category had two schools score very closely, so this is a part of the evening where we have what we call the People's Choice Award. We'll present two school nominees one at a time and share each commercial. Then, after both commercials have been viewed, you will vote for your choice by using your smartphones. If you hear your school called, please come to the front of the stage steps to be recognized for your commercial. Please come to the front of the stage steps and wait for your commercial to be played. Okay, student of the year presenters, who is our first school commercial nominee? Maestro, drum roll please. Southwest Elementary. Attention everyone! Next week's mission is crucial. Do you realize the importance of what's about to happen? One millisecond of bad photographic data could follow you for the rest of your life. Your school photo could be shared on Granny's living room wall. In Mom's wallet. Taped to the dashboard of Dad's work truck. Or even the internet. <gasps> we brought in an expert to help us plan our mission. This is serious, people. Wash your face. 
comb your hair and wear a clean school uniform. And for Pete's sake, don't do anything crazy. We got one shot at this mission. Make it count. Pick your day is Wednesday, September 30th. Who is our second commercial nominee? If you hear your school called, please come to the front of the stage steps for your commercial. Maestro, drum roll please. Lofman Oaks Elementary. Six million accidents each year are caused by texting and driving. Texting while driving causes 6,000 deaths per year. Florida is one of 43 states that bans texting and driving. So tell your parents, your older sisters, my older brothers, your grandparents, your aunts and uncles to put the phone down. And text while driving. I, 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 I don't want to be another statistic. Download the app today and keep all of us safe. So take the pledge today. Now, it is time to vote with your smartphones. Please refer to the screen to vote for your favorite elementary commercial. Here we go. Southwest is right now in the lead. The Lofman Oaks is catching up. Southwest is still in the lead, but Lofman Oaks is catching up. Lofman Oaks is catching up real quick. for elementary commercial is Southwest Elementary School. Please send someone to this stage to pick up your plaque from one of our marshals. It is time to learn who has the judge's best elementary commercial. Maestro, drum roll please. Lofman Oaks. <laughs> I would like to thank my ITV teammates, teachers, and um, principals for allowing us to do this. I couldn't have done it without my mom, the gifted teacher. And, well, we worked very hard on it. Thank you very much. We are now down to our best category of the evening the best Stanley News Show. And our Bruce Wagner Elementary has an intro video about the Daily News Show. 
Welcome to the final category of the evening. Are you tired? He better not be, because this is the most exciting category of them all. It's called Best Daily News Show. Elementary schools all over Polk County air shows to keep you in the know about extracurricular activity, sports, safety concerns, technology, academic awareness. Daily news shows are the best way to start a day in any school because it's news for students. Produced by students. Thank you. We will be presenting the best daily news shows differently. If you hear your school name, please send the teacher and one student to the front of the stage steps. If you hear your school name, please send the teacher and one student to the front of the stage. All schools will receive a trophy because you scored between 70 and 100 points. So please wait for your trophy. Okay, let's hear the nominees and student of the year presenters. Dundee Academy. Chain of Lakes. Brigham Academy. Garner. Lena Vista. Davenport School of the Arts. R. Bruce Wagner. Wendell Watson. Crystal Lake. Horizon. Philip O'Brien. Southwest. Sleepy Hill. Alta Vista. Caldwell. Spencer L. Holland. Lachlan Oaks. Blake Academy. Elbert. Now presenting the ITV Award for Daily News Show, Ms. Ariana Ramirez from Blake Academy and Ms. Victoria Rivera-Ortiz from Alta Vista Elementary. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the schools with the best daily news shows in the whole nation. Let's stand and give them a special cheer and applause. Our Student of the Year presenters will now reveal who our superior news shows are. They score between 90 and 100. If you hear your school name, please come to the stage. I repeat, if you hear your school name, please come to the stage and receive your trophy. Maestro, drum roll, please. And the ITV award goes to Davenport School of the Arts. And the ITV award goes to Dundee Academy Elementary. And the ITV award goes to Gardner Elementary. Gardner. And the ITV award goes to Horizons Elementary. And the ITV award goes to Lachman Oates Elementary. Yeah. 
And the ITV award goes to R. Bruce Wagner. And the ITV award goes to Southwest Elementary. And the ITV award goes to Spessard L. Holland. And the ITV award goes to Wendell Watson Elementary. Congratulations! Next, we will display the schools with excellent new shows who scored 80 to 89 points. Please look to the screen for the list of schools with an excellent new show rating. And remember to remain until you receive a trophy for your school. Congratulations to all of these outstanding schools for producing daily news shows the entire school year. You may return to your seats. Please take a look at the screen because we have a teacher with 10 or more years as an instructional television contact. <laughs> Mrs. Hurst, come to the front to receive your plaque. Your school will also be receiving an iPad for your program. Thank you for your many years of service. Please look at the screen for TV production teachers, media specialists, network managers, and paraprofessionals who were school school employee teacher or school related employee of the year. At this time, we would like to say goodbye to the ITV teacher who will be retiring. Let's look at the screen. Mr. Pack, come to the stage to receive your plaque. Thank you for your service to boys and girls of Polk County Public Schools. It is time to present the David Yates Best in Show Award. Dr. David Yates could not be here with us tonight. To announce Best in Show in his honor, here is Mr. Michael Robertson. Thank you all for coming tonight. The David Yates Best in Show was named the David Yates Best in Show because he created this 24 years ago so that boys and girls could show outstanding work to all the community. So, the David Yates Best in Show Award is the top ITV award for the school that has earned the most points in the contest. Let's take a look at the screen and see who our top Fifth, fourth, and third place schools are. For best in show, we have Wendell Watson for 23. Number four, Spencer Holland for 34. And R. Bruce Wagner for 35 points. Now, we'd like to see the top two contenders for the David Yates Best in Show Award. Lofman Oaks and Southwest. And the David Yates Best in Show Award goes to Lofman Oaks. Michael just told me to hurry up, so I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you to our great team, my co-teachers. We did, uh, we worked really hard this year. These kids have spent a lot of time, and uh, they deserve the applause. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Robertson. Congratulations to all of our schools. This concludes 
concludes this year's video award ceremony. We would like to thank you for attending Polk County's largest student-hosted event. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please notice the screen for our ITV website where you will find the dates, times, and stations for replays of this year's ceremony. Don't forget to pick up your certificates before you leave. They are located at the doors. A to I is on that side. And J to W is on the other side of the sanctuary. Thank you for coming to the 2016 Video Awards Ceremony. Have a good night. We will see you next year. Good, good night. night.